So hi, hello and welcome back to my channel. I want to say a huge Merry Christmas as well. By the time you guys are watching this, it will be the 27th. Um, so I hope you have had a lovely Christmas, whatever it is that you've been doing. I know for some of us, it's not the easiest situation. Um, especially if you're in London, my thoughts are with you guys in tier four. Um, because, you know, I know it's not going to be an easy time, but... Nevertheless, I hope you guys have had the best that you possibly can. Um, and today I'm actually bringing you a really exciting collaboration with Decenio and just showing you guys a little bit of room upgrades in the house because I've actually worked with Decenio before and they helped make my house feel at home when I first moved in and I just felt like I wanted a little bit of a change up. I've changed a lot in the house and I felt like some of the prints maybe didn't really fit the vibe and the style that I was going for. So we've got some additions, some changes, and I'm really excited to show you guys what I got. One thing that I do just want to say about prints is how much they can change a room. Like when you guys see, I'll do like before and afters for most of the rooms so that you can see what it looked like without and with and just how much it has changed the room. And I know that sometimes prints are a little bit expensive, um, which is why I am so happy to share with you guys that I've actually got a discount code which will get you 35% off. So this code is actually valid from the 27th, or as this video goes live, until the 6th of January. So this is the longest that I've ever, ever been given a code to share with you guys. And I think the longest that anybody has had. I know usually they last for like 48 to 72 hours, um, and you have quite a short window to use this code, but this will be valid until the 6th of January and will get you 35% off. So all of the information will be in the description bar below. Obviously you'll see it on screen at the moment, but I'm gonna get straight into it and show you guys the room updates and also a really useful tool which actually helped me plan one of my walls as well so yeah if you do enjoy watching this video please give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already so this is the new office space so as you can see there's been a few changes in this room please excuse the suitcase I haven't fully unpacked but we've got like my salt lamp we've got um, this chair which is actually going I'm waiting for a new chair but I've had a little bit of an issue which we're not going to talk about um, I'm getting some storage boxes and stuff to pop that in as well but as you can see it's quite white it's quite plain um, but I really wanted to keep it like black and white and quite monochrome Grace bought me that for Christmas which is very very cute and then my mum bought me these two as well but what I want to show you is how these prints have come along I just thought I would stick with the black and white theme and I absolutely love them. So we've got LA there, which is one of the new prints, and then this lady with the money over her face. Now, this one is actually from Decenio, but it's not from my recent order. And this one just basically says, ask yourself if what you're doing today is getting you closer to where you want to be tomorrow. And I think, especially in an office space like this, you're almost being reminded, is what you're doing actually helping you get to where you want to be? LA, which is somewhere that I really, really want to go. And then also this woman with the cash as well, because I just think if anything's going to motivate me, it's definitely that picture. So I'll try and find a video or a picture of what this looked like before, but this looked so different. Obviously, things need to be moved, such as obviously the softbox and the suitcase, but the office space is definitely coming together. And I just think these prints just help bring the room in so much and it almost heightens it a little bit too and stops kind of the room feeling a little bit too low so that's the first room I'm absolutely obsessed and um, I'll show you what was on the shelf before as well and you'll see how it's changed if anyone's got any recommendations of things to put up as well just pop them in the comment box below I'm conscious that my books and my salt lamp are quite colorful which I think I might have to change because I really am enjoying this kind of like neutral monochrome kind of theme um but they're the three prints that I got I'll actually leave a link to everything that I've bought in the description box below if you did want to shop anything and I'll also put the sizes and everything as well just so that if you wanted to shop the exact ones um that you can get them so yeah this is how this room is coming along I also just wanted to share a couple of really quick updates because there is actually another print from Decenio up there. Um, that one is an old print, but we're making some changes. I say we, I mean me. Um, making some changes to the bathroom and bringing in some black. So we've got out the kind of bluey glass clear mirror and I've replaced it with this black one, which actually has storage in like each side of it, if you can see. And then I've got these two shelves from Amazon. This box is gonna be filled with cotton wool pads and then this one with black and white um, like earbuds. 
then we've just got a candle and the let's get naked sign but the anticipation now is to change the shower head to a black one and then also get a new shower screen which will be like a black kind of mirror style one um, I'll pop a picture on screen, but you're going to see a lot of black and white in this video. That's all I'm going to say. We've got black and white in that room, black and white in that room. And then another little update are these new prints on the hallway. So these are actually completely new to the house. There was never anything here before. Um, and I've just gone for this kind of like black and white theme again. So we've got this lady kind of opening the window in Paris. We've also got um, another lady on the balcony having a cigarette and then just this silhouette of a collarbone so absolutely obsessed with these and I actually used the gallery wall tool to plan out how this was going to look because sometimes it really is hard to visualize like how three prints are going to look together and I was a little bit nervous because as you can see the big one is flush to the frame whereas the other two next to them have the white border but honestly the tool helps you visualize everything you could even plan like if you imagine this wall you can plan like what the full wall would look like with bigger and smaller prints so I just think it's a really really useful tool I'll pop a screen recording of what it looks like now um but yeah I just absolutely love these and a very proud moment because I put these up myself so I've not done the best job on these because you can kind of see them but I've used the command like double-sided kind of like picture like I don't really know what they are, like sticky pads, because they actually don't damage the walls and I am prone to damaging them. And then the third and final room that's had a little bit of a makeover is the bedroom. So as you can see, I do like things quite symmetrical in this room. Um, and that's why I've kind of gone for this symmetrical style with the print. So I haven't gone for the exact same style on both sides. But I've gone from the same range. So as you can see, we've got this beautiful kind of nude, abstract kind of stone colour art. And then the LLVE in the middle. And I just think this has massively, massively changed the room. I'll show you guys what I had up before just so that you can see the difference. But absolutely love these prints so much. Obviously, it's quite hard to tell. Let me turn this light off. I don't know if you can see better now in the dark. But these prints are just absolutely gorgeous. And I love the kind of abstract art and then the LLVE in the middle. For me, my bedroom is such a kind of neutral and calm place. Everything else in like the other rooms is a little bit more harsh because I feel like I can be a little bit more kind of out there with um, the other rooms. But for me, my bedroom just needs to be like a really calm place. So that's why I've just stuck to like neutrals and golds in the room. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love these. So one of the prints that I had before in the middle was the You Are Some Kind of Wonderful. And then I had two of these dream ones on the outside. Now, the mistake that I made with these, I think, was not getting Decenio frames because they just don't look as high quality. I got these from the range. Um, and I just think when you compare them to the Decenio frames, they're just so much thicker and just nicer. So yeah, that's the third and final kind of room update. So we've got this, the office and the hallway, but I'm absolutely obsessed. And if you guys have watched my home vlog before, then you will see the prints that I have in my living room. They are my favorite prints in the world, but yeah, I just absolutely love these. So yeah, they're the prints that I got. Another quick update in the bedroom as well is just that we now have handles, which I'm so happy about. So I bought these handles just from Etsy and oh my god, they have transformed the feel of this room. But there are still some updates pending for this room, so I'm not going to show you it in too much detail. But hopefully you guys love the ambiance in this room now. I'm just actually picking you guys up about three hours later and um, I've been on calls with my team like back to back for the past kind of like three maybe four hours so I'm just now sat with um a cup of tea and some Maryland's and um, I've got my little salt lamp on as well um, and I'm gonna just actually do some manifesting I don't really speak about this a lot but um, I'm gonna script and journal because today actually the great conjunction day which is basically Saturn and Jupiter I think they're aligned for like the first time or they're in a certain position for the first time in 400 years so it's a very high vibe day very high frequency um, so I'm gonna use this time to manifest and script and journal and things like that um, but yeah, regarding home updates and stuff, back on topic, um, the only reason I didn't show you guys my wardrobes is just because I'm still waiting for the drawers in between um, for the handles. Now, Zara sent me six, which is what I needed, but one of the packets were really, really discoloured. Um, so I've organised a replacement for them because I do want them to look really nice and I'm not someone that usually would 
be bothered. I'm someone that's kind of like, oh, it's fine. It's fine, we'll just use them, it'll look okay. But they just didn't look very nice. So um, I want to change them. And then a few other updates is that a sofa kind of seat will be arriving for there. I found my new sofa for my living room, which is very exciting. Um, and also the pantry, I was going to get it done by a joiner and he was going to do it all but I'm actually going to get the shelves made by my best friend Um, she's already made me a shelf that I'm yet to put up because I am crap at DIY um, and I haven't put it up yet but she makes um, I can't I think she calls them restored shelves um and they're amazing she does like whitewash shelves with like industrial brackets they look amazing and I just think do you know what invest in a small business invest in your best friend and they look amazing they're going to look 10 times better than what i was originally going to do so i'll show you the full kind of wc to pantry transformation as well but yeah i've got a little stuff arriving for that top there picked my sofa for downstairs but i've just not ordered it yet just because it's got a two-week um delivery time so i need to sell mine first um because if you watch my full home tour you know there's not a lot of storage in these um houses so yeah and then my stool should arrive for the office at some point as to when got no idea but um it should come soon so yeah there's a lot of updates um coming which is very exciting i'll keep you guys in the loop if you are kind of enjoying this home update and kind of being on this journey then please stay engaged um your support means a lot to me especially after leaving my job and taking everything like this full time so any support will not go amiss and yeah, I love just showing you guys and kind of bringing you guys along the journey um, and keeping it real with all my towels behind me. Um, but yeah, just a final kind of shout out to Desenio, to be honest. I know obviously this is in collaboration with them and I love my prints so much and I'm so grateful that I've got a discount code to share with you guys. But they really do change a room up. Prints just make things feel so much better. I'm not someone that usually puts like photos up of like friends and family apart from the one that Grace got me because I just it fits the theme so well like when you see it there obviously there's a little bit of rubbish here and there but um it's just so cute I've got my necklaces on it at the moment just because like I'm not fully kind of sorted things out yet this office is probably not going to stay exactly like this dressed like this but for now it will do so yes thank you so much for watching this video please Enjoy the rest of the year if you're watching this still in 2020 and if you're picking this video up in 2021, this year's going to be better. But take the lessons that you've learned from 2020. Don't take it as a shit year. Take it as a year that you learn a lot, whether it was about yourself, about the things that matter, the things that you're grateful for and let's just have the best 2021. Um, but yeah, all the information, all the prints, everything. I'll try and link everything that has been featured in this video in case you guys want to shop any of it. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button um, and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. If you do enjoy this content and you do watch it frequently but you haven't yet subscribed, it means a lot. It really does and yeah. I hope you guys have the best day, evening, morning, whenever you're picking this video up and an even better 2021. So thank you so much for supporting me and good night.